The deal to get aid into Gaza through Rafah, the territory's only entry points not controlled by Zionists, remained fragile after being damaged in vicious airstrikes. One of Zionism's schemes for committing genocide against defenseless Palestinians. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres visited Rafah boarded crossing on Friday and called on all international parties to work together to ensure that humanitarian aid reaches Palestinians in besieged Gaza. These trucks are not just trucks. They are a lifeline. They are the difference between life and death for so many people in Gaza. And to see them stuck here makes me be very clear. What we need is to make them move, to make them move to the other side of this wall, to make them move as quickly as possible and as many as possible. And so we are now actively engaging with all the parties, actively engaging with the Egypt, with Israel, with the US, in order to make sure that we are able to clarify those conditions, that we are able to limit those restrictions in order to have, as soon as possible, these trucks moving to where they are needed. In order to ensure that a relief operation could be carried out in Gaza as quickly as possible, where the besieged population is in urgent need of water, food, fuel and medical supplies, the UN humanitarian organization declared that it is engaged in advanced talks with all parties. We are in deep and advanced negotiations with all relevant sides to make sure that an aid operation into Gaza starts as quickly as possible and with the right conditions. We are encouraged by reports that the different sides are nearing an agreement on the modalities and that the first delivery is due to start in the next day or so. A first step towards getting aid to the besieged Palestinians who are running out of life necessities due to the occupation's abuse of the Rafah crossing, which is used as a pressure point on helpless people in order to forcibly displace them, was taken by workers along Gaza's borders as the humanitarian crisis for its 2.3 million civilians is growing worse.